Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about another Medford. This is the MIDI Marauder. And I've done a review on this MIDI Marauder before. Nice Vulcan tumbled handles. And we've also done one on the Slim MIDI Marauder that Greg actually did the jimping on himself and whatnot. Well, today I want to talk about this MIDI Marauder. It's a little different. Um, <clears throat> I will put a link to my Marauder videos uh, playlist down in the description below so you can go back and see the review on the Slim MIDI or the MIDI, you know, and the rest of the Marauder family. This one's different because one, it's got the uh, Marine Corps Eagle Globe and Anchor laser etched into the handle and anodized. It also has an olive drab matte green uh, anodize, anodization, which they don't really offer that particular finish anymore because it was really tough to do and didn't come out quite right every time. So let's just jump into the specs on this one and then we'll get to the real special part. So close length is four and three eighths, overall length of seven and seven eighths on that Tonto blade. So as of right now today that I'm filming this, there are maybe three Tonto bladed MIDI Marauders. And I was fortunate enough to get this beautiful piece from a very good friend of mine, John, who uh, helps me run a Facebook page. So thank you, John, for finally letting me pry this out of your hands. Granted, he has another one still already. Um, with the blade length of 3.58, edge length of 3.18, this is a D2 Vulcan blade. Blade thickness on it is 0.18. This weighs in at 6.7 ounces and an overall thickness of 6.61 uh, inches. And like all Medfords, they run on phosphor bronze washers. What I wanted to do, why I wanted to do this video right now is because they have, Medford has since released a Tonto version of the Slim Midi that can be ordered now. I am waiting for my buddy Jake, the Medford guy, to get his shipment in so he can send me one. Because, well, I have every Marauder size and variety so far that's offered. So I need a Tonto Slim Mini. And just within the last few days, you can now order a Tonto Mini. So while this was once very elusive, one of three, uh, it's now going to be one of a ton because my buddy John got off the phone with Amy today at the factory and ordered one up for himself exactly like he wanted it. And uh, apparently he was the first one to call up and actually order one. So these can be ordered now. You can either call Amy at the shop or because I love my buddy Jake, get a hold of Jake the Medford guy and he can hook you up with a Tonto MIDI Marauder as they're starting to ship or a Tonto Slim MIDI Marauder or he can hook you up with anything else Medford that you would so desire. He is also the one who loaned me the Slim, uh, the Praetorian Slim, which I just did a review on, so please check that out also. So just a couple of the things that I do and don't like about the Marauder family. I mean, I just got to be honest here. The cutout is really a hard edge. It's not going to be sharp enough to cut you, but it is a hard edge that can be uncomfortable. And then the other negative that is, in my opinion, a potential negative is the lock face sticks out past the scales. So is it a problem? I don't know. Is it a potential problem? Yes. You drop this, you 
it you know hits the concrete, it hits the asphalt, it could mar up that lock phase and affect the lockup of the knife. So I think that could be a potential issue. So, and, and that's evident on, see, here's what's kind of funny is I just noticed this right now. If we look at these two together, the lock faces are totally exposed in a different way. Completely, I mean, not completely different, but it's much more pronounced on my regular MIDI than on the Tonto MIDI. You can see even from the side here, the back side, how pronounced that really is. That's interesting. I have not noticed that until right now. On the Slim MIDI, it's exposed, but it's more along the lines of the Tonto MIDI. And I think that that is kind of inherent with Medford. It seems as though every Medford I have feels different, has a different action. So it's just, it's, I don't know, it's one of those things. But let's do a couple size comparisons again so you're familiar with the size of the MIDI Marauder, which I think for me is one of the best sized Medfords that there are, is the MIDI Marauder or the Infraction. Here it is next to the Todd Big Steelcraft Field Marshal. And a quick one against the Sabenza Large 21 by Chris Reeve. I think, I mean, this is great in the hand also, but something about the MIDI, whether it's a Tonto or Drop Point, doesn't matter. They're both the same, same sizes. Okay, just the blade shape is a little different, but it's the same overall. It's the same way. I didn't, well, I did weigh this during my initial video, I think, but they're virtually the same weight. These are just a great everyday carry, fits well in your hand. I, I kind of prefer it to the Slim Midi just because it fills your hand a little better, in my opinion. It just, I think the regular version feels better in the hand. What, is, what I like about the, the Midi and the Infraction is with this just three and a half inch blade, give or take a couple tens, it really can be used as a normal every day to the office, uh, around town doing errands. I mean, it's you're not going to scare anybody if you pull it out to open a box at a store or at the office. It's gonna work great around the house and it's enough to handle any cutting job that you're gonna need. It, it's just, it's really kind of the perfect size. And let's take a look at these. These are both Vulcan blades, which is their heat treating finish. And it's just interesting to see two side by side. And I've got several others and they all come out a little different. That's just the nature of the Vulcan. What I love about the, the Tonto version is the color on the spine. So even when it's closed, you know. I mean, it's right up here by the shoulder pin. I just, I don't know. Something about the Vulcan. I wish they didn't discontinue it. And they did more of it. Because once you understand that you can't control how it comes out, and it comes out different every time, it's great. So anyway, here's the Tonto MIDI. Hit up Jake, the Medford guy. A link will be down in the description below to his site as well as to my Marauder video playlist. You can order these now, and as much as I hate to say it, you can get yourself one because I've been kind of excited about the fact that I had one of three. God are those days, I guess. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hit up Jake, let him know what you need in, in anything Medford, and uh, we will see you on the next one.